seaweed. Suddenly he turned his back and his new wife was gone. She was missing. And he looked around him and then he saw there was a strange man, a big man with black hair, and he was dragging his wife off into a boat. And the boat set off. And the, the good man of Sora then realized, this isn't a normal man, this is a fin man. He's come from the sea and has kidnapped my wife. And he ran after them, but he was too late because he couldn't reach them before they were out at sea and disappeared. But the good man of Thor then didn't give up. He swore, I will get my wife back. But he didn't know how to do that because the problem is Hildeland is invisible. So he didn't know where to find the island or his wife. One day he was out fishing in the Rousey Sound when he heard a familiar voice. He heard the voice of his wife singing. And she was singing, if you want to find me, you've got to go to Hoi and speak to the spare wife. The spare wife was a wise old woman who lived in Hoi who knew how to read the tea leaves. She knew how to tell the future. So the man went over there. The spare wife told him what to do. And this is what he did. He had to go to the Odin stone, the big standing stone in Stennis that has a hole through it. On nine nights of the full moon, at midnight, as the full moon was shining down on him, he had to crawl round the Odin stone nine times. And then he had to, each time, look through the hole in the Odin stone. And that gave him the power to see what others couldn't see, so he could see the island, Hildaland. The spare woman also told him to buy a whole lot of salt and bring it with him to Hildaland. And the good man, no, the wasn't quite sure what that salt was for, but he soon found out. Because one day he was out, he was going fishing again, and suddenly, ta-da, there was an island in the Rousey Sound. He'd been fishing there many times, never been an island there before. There it was, it was beautiful and green and the cattle were fat and shiny. The sun was shining there when it was rainy elsewhere. And he knew this is Hildeland, this is where we need to go. I mustn't blink, I mustn't look away, he thought, because if I look away, it'll be gone again and I've never seen it, it, see it again. So he kept staring, he had to blink with one eye at a time. And then he said, my sons, sons, come, come, quick, get a boat out, quick, and bring the salt, he said, bring the salt. And they came with three cases, each one full of salt, and they set out in the boat, and they rowed out the hill and still blinking with one eye at a time. And, um, and they soon discovered what they needed the salt for, because the fin folk had changed into whales, and the whales come up on the boat and they attacked the boat and they were rocking the boat and they were nearly capsizing when the one son took a fistful of salt and threw out the whale and salt repels fin folk. So the whales went away and they could go ashore but there were more dangers because the fin women can be mermaids and the mermaids sit on the shore and are trying to lure the, the, the men with their beautiful song and they bespell them with the songs they were sitting singing and combing their hair and the three sons were getting all mesmerized they were going uh, completely forgetting that we're there to rescue their stepmother and so the good man who asked said don't listen to that don't listen to that throw salt at them so that's what they did and the good man also picked up some seaweed and made crosses out of the seaweed and held it up against the mermaids and that made the mermaids shriek ah! and run off but the dangers weren't done with that because as they walked up onto the island they met a huge monster and the monster had teeth the length of a man's arm what will we go they thought but luckily they had more of the salt and more of the crosses that they threw at the monster and it changed into the Finn man and they recognized the Finn man that had kidnapped the good man's wife. There he was with his dark, his dark hair and all. So the good man took some sticky weed, the sticky willies, the kind of grass that will stick to your clothes 
and he made the cross out of that, and he threw it at the Finn man, and it stuck to his face. I was like, it burned him there, and he went, ah! And he ran off, and all the cattle, all the Finn cattle started running off um, into the sea, and all the mermaids ran into the sea, and all the Finn man ran into the sea with a great big scream. And the only one that was left on the island was the good man's wife. And she stood there and said, you came for me, thank you. And they took her up in the boat. But there was la one last thing that the spare wife had told them to do. And that was to make sure that 